So the focus of our TACO project is the modeling of polarons. Okay, so polarons uh, uh, per se are defined formally as quasi-particles, so meaning that these are quantum objects. But despite being quantum objects, they have strong, let's say, influence on macroscopic properties of materials, in particular for uh, what concerns any kind of uh, events, device or phenomena that involve, for example, the conversion of uh, light into energy or the transport of charge in uh, semiconductors. And they arise from one of the fundamental quantum interactions in matter, that is the electron-phonon interaction, namely the coupling between a charged particle, that could be an electron or a hole, with the phonon field. The phonon field is uh, uh, the lattice vibrations uh, of ions uh, in a crystal. So, uh, during the next four or eight years, uh, we, our main goal is actually uh, uh, directing our research in three different directions. On one side, we would like to study polaron uh, using first principle uh, methods, trying to interpret experimental information that comes from other partners in the project, especially the physics and chemistry of polarons on surfaces uh, and uh, uh, also we would like to test and try novel techniques or so machine learning schemes uh, that enable to accelerate the description of polaron dynamics uh, that often requires long time actually to uh, transform uh, into a phase into another phase for example and it's not easily achievable by standard first principle scheme and finally, we will also try to use uh, computer vision approaches. Uh, these computer vision approaches will allow us to detect the formations uh, of polarons directly uh, uh, from experimental images. So two-dimensional uh, image taken from STM or AF AFM can be directly interpreted from an artificial eye that will give us information on whether a polaron is formed and which type of polaron is there and whether this polaron is alone or is interacting with uh, other particles like uh, adsorbates in order to initiate for example a chemical a chemical reaction so the team is formed by myself uh, Cesare Franchini and also by Michele Reticcioli that is a co-PI and then two PhD students uh, Marco Corrias and uh, Victor Birginski.